the day after Labor Day, the end of summer, the beginning of school. And I knew we'd have a train today. Someone said ELS 502 part down in Pembine. I would imagine this train is going to Pembine. Well, I mean, obviously it is, but... Double people think maybe they're going up to latch up with 502, or maybe 502 is coming back north. I don't know. short train today. Pretty sure we will have a northbound later on, so you guys will have to stick around for that. No wood I see on this train going south. You got a bunch of scrap iron here. The cars from all through last week. that train later on today or if I find any action going on later on. Never know, I might take a ride south, but uh, might just wait as well. We'll figure out as the day goes on and a flag. No, it's green, wow. They can find the the green one back. That's amazing. Short train. 72 degrees. A couple hours later now. Train went to Pembine, did some switching with 502. Told the 502 just went back south. But we have 501 and 503 coming back north with a really long train as it was described. Also, it was said that they got between seven to 10 cars for Alter Metal. That was about 30 minutes ago that they left Pembine, so I'm just gonna come up here to alter and wait. So stick around. We're gonna have a little bit more train action for you in this video. I think we're early. A little shot of the Alter Spur. coming. Seems there's some bushes in my way right there, some trees if you will, blocking the view down the rail. They can see me, I guarantee you, because I'm wearing a bright orange shirt that you just can't miss. Anyway, I'm almost positive they're going to stop here at Alter, but maybe not. We'll see. Maybe not. They're uh, charging on through. Nope, not stopping at Alter today. Uh, some people thought that those were altar cars up on front. Quite possibly they're for the uh, material they've been loading up in Channing. Yeah, I thought for sure. 
sure they're going to stop here, so that's why I came here. You never know their plans until they tell you, hey? I think all these are going up to Channing. They're going to load that ore into them. Bring them back down. trying to figure out where to film downtown. I only have one shot. This train is so long I won't get out in front of it again. Where to film downtown. I've done by the depot. I've done by the fire station. I've done by 8th Street. Claire, that place by the uh, where the old Union building is. That's kind of cool but I've done that a lot. It's always a thought. Where to film the train. I think today we'll go over by Ludington, which is kind of by the post office, and also by the brand new uh, hotel structure. I don't even I, I don't even know what they're building, to be honest with you. I'd like to have that old church. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly it is. Pretty sure it's a motel, but I think they're gonna have like permanent living there as well. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you, but it's coming along pretty nice. Pretty big. People around here are happy to see some sort of development, you know? Something finally happening.
can really check out this old signal so it's actually ringing. Pretty cool, huh? Not quite red, more of a yellow flash, but... and bright orange so everybody can see me. Always look for cars. Anyway, we're going to go on top of this overpass and film the train from that spot you guys like. I like it. Do you like it? Anyway, that was pretty cool. That guy, uh, are you Jason? Chatted with him for just a second. Says he watched my YouTube videos during the winter time when it's kind of dead. I understand. Kind of hard to watch, you know, if you're working all the time. Oh man, we got something dead over here on the raccoon. Oh man, I hope it doesn't smell. I hate when it smells. fast and close. I have 
heavy train. turn here. I do love this old metal railing right here. It must be really old. I don't know how old, but it must be old. Granite Bluff. You know, I swear the trees, they're not See, look, that one's got a little bit of yellowness going on in it. We're not there yet, but we have had a couple of pretty chilly nights. And I'm kind of fearful that fall is coming on us faster than I really want it to come. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, they put these, uh, you saw in maybe one of my other videos, they put these reflectors right up here on the corner where the gravel is. It's kind of nice because it protects my car and keeps it noticed, you know. Give you a little look. There's that rock ledge right there. That tree coming down. That's where I like to sit in the shade, on a perch if you will. Great view of everything. And hopefully if a bear comes up behind me, I'll hear it. Here, Mr. Bear. Yogi, are you there? Yogi? The common question well, actually, there's a few common questions. Like, what do you do all day? Don't you have a life? Don't you have something better to do? Shouldn't you have a job? I guess the best question that I've ever heard, really, I just heard it a little bit ago. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you make on YouTube? I don't mind telling people that I pay my rent and utilities with my YouTube earnings every single month. And on top of that, my wife has a full-time job that she's been with for over 20 years. We don't need a lot. We don't need all these fancy boats and ATVs and off-road vehicles and we don't need a camper. We don't need we don't need a lot of the things that it seems many others have to live their life on. I mean, working is just a part of life. And I find my work to be filming trains, or that's what I'm filming now is trains. 
I film all sorts of subjects on YouTube, and I have since 2007, and I've been making money on YouTube since probably like 2014. So this is my job. But I mean, I also sell rocks on Etsy. I've had 1,800 sales. I just seen that number this morning. I was like, wow. 1,800 sales on Etsy. I've shipped rocks all over the world. And that's in addition to my YouTube. Well, you're just evading taxes and you're just, uh, you're going around, Uncle. I wish every single person that said that to me, I could show them what I owe Uncle Sam every year and ask if they would be willing to contribute what I pay to Uncle Sam. Yeah, you know, there's all sorts of ways to make money where you don't have to work for another person. You don't have a boss above your head. You don't have rules to follow. That's the life I choose. That's the jobs I choose where I'm the boss. I choose the rules. I live the life. I follow it. I just want to thank all of you for uh, sticking around and uh, following my life the way it goes because right now it's about trains and I hear one coming. train you were just saw in the beginning of the video going south had no wood on it. So I'd imagine the next train going south, not only will it have wood, all of these cars here will be filled with ore. I think a few people I saw said that the ore is used for paint to dye. They, uh, I don't know if they're dyeing paint or something along that line, but, oh man, my throat, my throat, mega log hauler. You know, a few years ago, I did clowns, haunted house clown, not the happy kind of clown, the scary kind of clown. I actually have a few videos on YouTube of me being the scary clown. If I can remember, I will, uh, I'll post a little link or a tab right now above this, uh, up in the corner. But my throat used to get so bad after doing haunted houses with a crazy clown laugh. <laughs> you like this? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, my throat is terrible. I'm, I'm supposed to do like voice exercises and stretching and I'm stubborn, I don't do that. I just play around and watch my voice be all screwed up now the rest of the day. Oh, we better get up from my resting spot. Yes, I was sitting down. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for following along. Thanks for the chase. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, make a comment below. And you know, there's a little chamber in there we could go hide in. 
I've seen the hobos do it. Why can't we do it too? Oh man, that is so doable. What do you guys think? Take a ride to Green Bay? You ready? <laughs> 